application is one of oldest and most serious surgical operations. It means the loss or removal of a body part such as a finger, toe, hand, foot, arm or leg. Amputation can be traumatic due to an accident or injury or surgical due to any of multiple causes such as blood vessel disease, cancer, infection, excessive tissue damage, dysfunction, pain, etc. Often portrayed as gruesome, it exists as a necessary procedure for survival, especially during times of war. Ambatitio, first mentioned in Roman texts, refers to the criminal punishment of cutting off one's hands. Anthropological evidence credits the earliest amputations to cave paintings and covers in present-day Spain, France, and New Mexico nearly 36,000 years ago. These paintings are thought to suggest the practice of self-mutilation to appease gods during religious ceremonies. Hippocrates, the great Greek physician, practicing around 460 to 380 BC, recommended amputation for the treatment of gangrene. To control hemorrhage, he advocated the use of cautery and vascular ligatures. In the 1st century AD, Celsus, a Roman encyclopedist, advocated circular surgical amputation through healthy tissue proximal to the area of ischemia. His writings documented ligation of vessels, proximal division of bone in order to allow a flap of skin to cover the stump, and packing the wound with lint soaked in vinegar. As it tells us, Roman surgeons of that time had a wide array of forceps, scalpels, and saws to operate with. Just as amputation began the transition from an art to medical science, its progress was stifled by a decree of the Catholic Church. Then Dark Ages came. The surgical and technical advances from Hippocratic, Roman and Greek times are either forgotten or abandoned. In the 14th century, the scientific and literary stagnancy of the Dark Ages had passed. Ambrose Perry sought to challenge barbaric surgical practices of the time. He returned vessel legation to control hemorrhage. Through his diligent efforts, Perry not only revolutionized amputation practices of his time but also set a solid foundation for the field of vascular surgery. Perry carried out the first elbow disarticulation procedure in 1536. Sir James Syme reported his procedure for amputation at the ankle in 1843. Morrell introduced the tourniquet in 1674, which gave another impetus to amputation surgery. The introduction of antiseptic technique in 1867 by Lord Lister, a student and son-in-law of Syme, contributed greatly to the overall success of amputation surgery, as did the use of chloroform and ether about the same time. Even today, the challenges overcome by the surgeons who have performed amputations throughout the ages are unparalleled. As the history of surgery progressed, the evolution of amputation has allowed many to escape from a greater affliction. <laughs>